I wanted to make a quick video about this Wallpaper Engine KDE plugin. I'm primarily making this video because they make you think that you need Wallpaper Engine and Steam for this plugin to work, which is quite annoying because it's not really the case. This plugin is fully capable of executing everything on the Wallpaper Engine Steam Workshop. It does not in any way depend on Wallpaper Engine or Steam. The only reason this is here is maybe for legal reasons, but I'm not really sure about that. So in this video, I'm going to be demonstrating how you can use this plugin without Steam or Wallpaper Engine. The installation process is quite straightforward. You just want to read through everything they have here on GitHub all of the dependencies, and they have installation guides for different distributions. Personally, I'm on Gentoo, so I had to execute these commands, and once it was installed, I had to restart my machine for it to show up in the settings here. You need to go in the Wallpaper tab and select Wallpaper Engine for KDE in Wallpaper Type. I think you can also log out and log back in, and that will make it show up here, but I'm not sure. I just gave my machine a restart. And make sure you follow this part after you've installed this plugin. So once you've done all that, we need to download a wallpaper from the Steam Workshop. Now, fair warning, the workshop content for Wallpaper Engine can be pretty wild. There's a lot of NSFW stuff on here. So I've searched for post-apocalyptic here, and this is the wallpaper that I like the most. But I already have it installed, so let's try this one for this video. So I'm going to grab the URL for this. You only need this part. The ID is the most important element in the URL. And you need to head over to this website right here. Now, I'm not sure how safe this website is because it's not even HTTPS. But so far, I haven't had any issues with this website at all. But of course, always do your own research before you utilize any of this. There we go. And I have it downloaded. Now, it didn't take me very long to figure out how to add this workshop content to the plugin. Basically, they have a really rudimentary way of verifying whether or not you've purchased Wallpaper Engine on Steam. And that is to look for the exact same folder structure as Steam would establish for that workshop content. So to take a look at the folder structure Steam establishes, I spun up my Windows Virtual Machine and installed Steam on there. Now, in their guide on GitHub, they tell you to select the Steam library folder in the plugin right here which is just their way of saying the Steam installation directory, which is placed right here on Linux by default. In my virtual machine, I've installed Steam right here. So now we need to take a look at where Steam is placing the workshop content. That's going to be in Steam apps, workshop, and content. In this folder, you're going to have a application ID. And figuring out the application ID for anything on Steam is quite simple. You just have to head on over to their store URL. And this is the application ID right here. For Wallpaper Engine, it's 431960. And inside of that application ID folder, we have all of the workshop content. So that's really all we have to do. And that's exactly what I've done here. I've created a folder named Steam. I think you can name the initial folder whatever you want, but I'm not sure about that. Inside there, we need Steam Apps, Workshop, Content, and here is the application ID of Wallpaper Engine. And inside of there, we can place our workshop content that we just downloaded. So I'm going to grab this extracted folder, cut it, and paste it in here. And once you have established this folder structure, you're going to have to select this folder in the library button here of the Wallpaper Engine plugin. And it should show up in here. 
after a refresh. And there it is. I'm going to apply this now. Well, I don't really like it. I'm just going to go back to my favorite wallpaper. And there you have it. You can tune up some settings here and uh, you can select the video backend. Personally, QG Multimedia worked the best for me. So that's what I'm using here. MPV was slightly stuttery. All right, that's going to be it for this video. I'm going to enjoy my wallpaper now and I'll see you guys in the next one.